Good morning. This class we discuss another rearrangement that is uh, Woodward and Provost hydroxylation. Woodward and Prevost hydroxylation. Okay. So this Woodward and Prevost hydroxylation can be discussed uh, under two headings. That is uh, Woodward hydroxylation and uh, Prevost hydroxylation. Okay, Woodward hydroxylation. Hydroxylation and uh, Prevost, Prevost hydroxylation. Okay, so let us see what is the difference between Woodward hydroxylation and uh, Prevost hydroxylation. In Woodward hydroxylation and Prevost hydroxylation, actually we are converting an alkene into a diol. Conversion of an alkene into a diode that is what is occurring in Woodward hydroxylation and uh, Prevost hydroxylation. What is the difference between Woodward and Prevost is that in Woodward hydroxylation we get cis diode and uh, in Prevost hydroxylation we get uh, trans diode. That means uh, this reaction is uh, stereo specific in nature. Here you are getting cis diode and in Prevost hydroxylation we get uh, trans diode. Okay, first we discuss about uh, uh, discuss Woodward hydroxylation. Woodward hydroxylation or we can call it as uh, Woodward Woodward cis cis hydroxylation Woodward cis hydroxylation so uh, what is Woodward cis hydroxylation that means the conversion of uh, conversion of an alkene alkene into a into a diode diode that means this is cis diode conversion of an alkene into a cis diode by the treatment of by the treatment of iodine in presence of silver acetate silver acetate in acetic acid in acetic acetic acid followed by followed by hydrolysis hydrolysis okay that means uh, this is a reaction of an alkene reaction of an alkene with iodine reaction of an alkene with uh, iodine in presence of silver acetate in acetic acid and uh, followed by hydrolysis we get uh, cis diol we will get uh, cis diol that means uh, when, uh, when an alkene 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 is treated with iodine in presence of a silver acetate AgOAC followed by hydrolysis. What do we get? We get cis diol. Cis diol. This reaction, this rearrangement is known as a Woodward rearrangement, or simply we can say this is Woodward reaction. The conversion of an alkene into a cis diol by using iodine and silver acetate in acetic acid followed by hydrolysis. Now let us go through the mechanism of uh, Woodward reaction. So we start with uh, this is our silver acetate, silver CH3, C double bond O, o minus and AG plus silver acetate. Okay, silver acetate. React with uh, iodine, I2, I2 react with uh, iodine or I2 can be written as uh, I, I, correct? Now you can see that uh, this, uh, uh, this is abstracting this, uh, okay, and it is uh, uh, like this, okay, the nucleophile is taking I plus and what do we get? We get uh, CH3, C double bond O, O minus and uh, I plus, I plus, okay, plus uh, what will be eliminated? Minus. AGI. This is the first step. You can see that CH3C double bond of O minus and AG plus O minus is uh, striking 
this partially this I plus and what will happen this bond is uh, shifting to uh, I and what, what do we get CH3 C double bond o, o minus and uh, I plus I plus and what will be eliminated minus AGI okay this is the uh, starting point of this reaction now look at it here you can see that uh, uh, this our uh, uh, this uh, I plus uh, this I plus can act as an electrophile this I plus is adding to our alkene that means electrophilic addition uh, look at it here this is our uh, uh, okay, CH3, C double bond O, O minus and I plus, it is like this, uh, it is adding to our alkene, so look at here our alkene, so here it is our alkene, this is R1, R2, okay, and you can see that uh, this is a pi bond, okay, this is a pi, a pi bond, pi bond is electron rich and moreover, this alkene, this is our alkene, alkene, alkene has a planar structure, this is planar, because uh, in alkene, uh, carbon is in sp2 hybridized state. Therefore, we know that uh, alkene has a planar structure due to the sp2 hybridization of carbon atom. And uh, this pi bond is electron rich. And what will happen? This pi bond can abstract this I plus. Okay, that means electrophilic addition. And keep it in mind that this I plus, since uh, uh, the alkene is having a planar structure, the I plus can uh, uh, come and attack the uh, uh, pi electron from the top of the uh, plane from the top of the plane so suppose if i plus is coming from the top of the plane okay or uh, uh, the the pi electron system is abstracting i plus and what we will get we can see that uh, what do we get okay I, I can write like this this structure is like this okay and uh, here you can see that uh, this pi electron cloud is moving to pi electron cloud is uh, moving to I plus or we can say that the I plus is coming from the top of the plane so uh, you get a structure like this since it is coming from the top I am showing the bond like this and what is here here it is I plus uh, R1 R2 and uh, this is known as uh, as you know very well iodonium iodonium ion this is the uh, formation of iodonium ion so electrophilic addition so what is that uh, this uh, pi electron cloud is abstracting uh, uh, I plus ion and we get uh, iodonium ion, iodonium ion, okay, this is the uh, uh, formation of iodonium ion. In the next step, you can see that, uh, in the next step, you can see that uh, our uh, acetate ion, CH3CO minus, this acetate ion, CH3, C double bond O, O minus, uh, from silver acetate, uh, iodonium ion from acetate ion from silver acetate or from acetic acid or from acetic acid because we are using silver acetate in acetic acid anyway, acetate ion, this acetate ion will attack at the positively charged carbon via SN2 reaction, look at here, this is a backside attack, okay, this is a backside attack and, uh, and you can see that since, uh, since I plus I plus in the top of the plane, the acetate ion will come and attack the carbon atom from the uh, bottom side, from the bottom side. That means uh, this is a simple SN2 reaction and we know that uh, this carbon, this carbon is joined with a halide ion. So our uh, CI bond, this is CI bond, this is partially positive and what will happen? Therefore, the nucleophile will come and attack uh, the partially positively charged carbon uh, via SN2 mechanism. Why it is following SN2 mechanism? Because at the top of the plane, our uh, I is there. Therefore, the uh, nucleophile will come and attack from the bottom side. And this is uh, a normal SN2 reaction. And what do we get? Look at it here. Okay, here it is like this. And uh, when the nucleophile is attacking on this carbon in S2 reaction, what will happen? This bond breaks and it will, uh, this bond pair electron will be migrated to I plus. Okay, uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, this is attacking from the back side. Uh, CH3CO minus is attacking from the back side. This bond breaks and it is moving to I plus. And what we get? We get a structure like this. Okay, you can see that uh, uh, since since acetate ion is coming from the back side i am showing uh, the structure like this what is that uh, with a dotted bond uh, that means it is coming from the back side or, or from the bottom side what you will get o what is that uh, c double bond o ch3 okay here it is like that and the bond is breaking and what you will get uh, here it is uh, okay here it is uh, i okay that means uh, this is uh, iodo iodo acetate iodo acetate Okay, this is the intermediate. Iodoacetate is the intermediate in this reaction. 
intermediate. Okay, intermediate in this reaction. Up to here it is clear. Now what is happening? Look at it here. Okay, uh, now uh, iodoacetate. Now you can see that, uh, okay, here it is like this. Uh, and uh, we, again, our uh, silver acetate, uh, this is iodoacetate intermediate. I am taking the silver acetate. Uh, CH3 C double bond or O minus and uh, AG plus is here. Okay, okay, AG plus is here and uh, look at this structure. This structure is like this. Okay, uh, here it is uh, O C double bond O CH3 and here it is uh, uh, AG. I'm oh, sorry, here it is I and here it is I. Now, again, in the presence of uh, silver acetate, you can see that uh, this lone pair of electron in the Iodine atom, lone pair electron is present in the iodide atom, it will abstract the Ag plus ion. So what will happen here, it is uh, Ag plus ion, it is abstracting Ag plus ion. Okay, this uh, lone pair electron is uh, present on the iodine, iodine, okay, the, uh, uh, this iodine will abstract Ag plus and what we get, we get a structure like this. Okay, here it is like this, here it is uh, O, C double bond O, CH3. And here it is, uh, what is that, uh, the bond is like this, I plus and uh, AG, okay, I plus and uh, AG. So, uh, we are continuing. Okay, plus and AG. Now, you can see that... Uh, uh, this carbon is more electropositive now and we can see that uh, uh, this lone pair electron, the lone pair electron present on the oxygen atom will attack at this center. This is another SN2 reaction, backside attack at this center and what will happen? Uh, AGI will be eliminated. So what you will get? Uh, so this type of reaction, what is that? Uh, within the same molecule, the lone pair uh, electron of one atom is attacking another center. This is what is known as... Uh, neighboring group participation also so this reaction is via ngp okay neighboring group of participation a sn2 reaction and this is so you can call it as a ngp neighboring group participation this lone pair electron of uh, oxygen is attacking on this carbon center this carbon and what will be eliminated minus agi so here i am writing minus agi and here it is, what is this one? This is NGP, neighboring group participation, neighboring group participation. And what we get? We get a structure like this. Okay, we get, uh, uh, you can see that here it is like this. And here it is, uh, okay, here it is uh, O. And here it is uh, C, double bond O. That is via neighboring group participation. That means it is joined uh, with the oxygen. And what is here? Here it is uh, CH3 and what is that? Uh, minus AGI. AGI is removed and here it is like this. Okay. And of course, since the bond is joining with uh, here it is a positive charge. Okay. Here the oxygen is having a positive charge and this is uh, called oxonium ion. Oxonium ion. 